In this module, we'll talk about meiosis 2. In meiosis 2, the homologous chromosomes have separated in meiosis 1 and the nuclear envelope started forming in telophase 1. The chromosomes are becoming decondensed. In prophase of meiosis 2, the chromosomes start to condense again and the nuclear envelope also starts to disintegrate. At this stage, the meiosis 2 is sort of similar to mitosis with two differences. Number one, there is no DNA replication prior to the cell division or the meiosis 2. Number two, the sister chromatids in mitosis are identical. In this case, in meiosis 2, the sister chromatids are not identical. Remember, we talked about this in meiosis 1 that sister chromatids are exchanged parts with each other in a process called crossing over. When two homologous chromosomes are sitting next to each other, lying next to each other, the tetrad now in prophase of meiosis 2 these chromosomes have now condensed again in metaphase 2 the chromosomes line up at the metaphase plate the kinetochores of these chromosomes have connected to the kinetochore microtubules which are the spindle fibers coming from the centrosomes now when anaphase starts these two sister chromatids will separate we remember we talked about cohesin is holding these sister chromatids Cohesin is disintegrated and the sister chromatids move to the opposite ends. Chromosomes are being pulled towards the centrosome because microtubules are disassembling at the centromere region, at the centrosome region, and also the, the spindle fibers, which are overlapping, they are generating force because there are motor proteins between these two fibers coming out of the two different spindle fibers. So when they exert force, the two spindles move apart and the, also the chromosomes they go to the opposite ends. In meiosis 2, the telophase again it is similar the chromosomes start to decondense again and the nuclear envelope starts to form. Ultimately there will be cytokinesis and now from one cell we have made four cells. The important features are basically please note that we have reduced the number of chromosomes which are present in the original parent cell by half. Also, the total genetic material, however, is the same, but arrangement is different. The arrangement is different due to that crossing over. When we saw the tetrads, there was a crossing over between the two homologous chromosomes, and this gives rise to genetic diversity. Additionally, in meiosis 1, the pairing of homologous chromosomes is random. So, for example, if we have 10 different chromosomes, we have 10 pairs of chromosomes, 10 chromosomes coming from the father, 10 chromosomes coming from the mother. So chromosome 1, paternal chromosome 1 can go with the maternal chromosome 2 or the paternal chromosome 2. This is all independent. And this is basically referred to as independent assortment. Hallmark features of meiosis reduces the chromosome number from diploid to haploid, ensures each haploid product, product has complete set of chromosomes so e at the end result all the four cells which have daughter cells which have formed have at least one chromosome one one chromosome two so on and so forth it promotes genetic diversity two, two by two ways once because by exchanging exchanging little pieces of chromosomes during the tetrad stage and also the random arrangement of chromosomes homologous chromosomes during the meiosis 1. 